Hey guys, welcome to another video. Recently, I have been busy shifting and meeting up with my customer physically and via Zoom. Therefore, it's really been a while since my previous video. But I'm still trying my best to get my videos done as soon as I can. So things are definitely getting better despite we are in the pandemic. Our property market is still more resilient and the market sentiment is strong. Although some customers are still telling me nobody is buying the properties now because they saw the TV are advertising properties on new launches in the media. So they may have gotten the perception that because of the recession, nobody are buying the properties. And that is why the developer are advertising on the TV to sell their units. However, that is actually not, not true because the ads on the TV is just a form of marketing and advertising. In fact, the result was already shown. And what actually happened in August, the new home sales has surged to 11 months high on pent up demands. Developers have sold 1,256 private homes up by 16.3% from 1,018 units in July, despite was in the hungry ghost month. As for September, over 60% of the Penrose condo units sold over the weekends on Sunday. It was widely predicted as mentioned in my previous video, and 341 units of its 566 units were sold. Nearly 85% of the buyers were Singaporeans, and most of them were HDB upgraders across areas island-wide. Another article wrote that there may be a broader trend of HDB upgraders recycling their public housing flats into private homes. So given the robust result of the sales volumes at the recent private residential projects, despite the ongoing pandemic, private home sales totaled about 7,600 units in the year to date, up by 7% compared with the year ago period. Therefore, it cited that the sale volume for 2020 could come in at 10,000 units or more to beat the 2019 sales volumes if the strong momentum were to persist in the remaining months of this year. Lastly, according to the flash estimate released by HDBR, the resale price rose by 1.4% in the third quarter, inch up by 0.3% in the second quarter, and private home prices rose by 0.8% in the third quarter from the previous quarter, according to URA. However, despite all the evidence, I still have some customers saying that those buyers who bought the houses have not fully realized the impact of the recession yet. But I felt that the thing is what? Since we are already in the recession, but why are there so many people still buying their properties? Didn't they can wait until next year then buy? Or at least can wait until when the recession is over and buy? But why do they have to buy now? Is it is a good time to buy now? And so, is there a way to time the market? And how to determine is the right time to buy. That is why I am doing this video. So that I could help those who are planning to buy their houses to have a better understanding on our property market. And how you could determine is it a good time to buy. So that you could make a decision better with logic and facts. Not distracted by negativities that will only cause more confusion and worries for you to buy a home. So please, you could drop me a message on this and I could share more with you. So if you are planning to get a home soon, especially from the primary market or intend to upgrade from your existing house, please take down this date on the 10th. It's on a Saturday. Our company Pronext is in collaboration with Mediacorp and 99.co to launch the largest 2020 Singapore property show. And you can watch many properties showcase or property webinars via virtually online at your comfort of your home. 
as there are a lot of programs happening, you could also get to understand more on the property market with the segment on Property Insight webinars or learn about the exciting world of real estate investment, sharing strategy for property investments and also about feng shui for properties or even interior design ID for homes and so on. There are also webinars will be conducted in Mandarin. So it is a comprehensive program from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on 10th and 11th of October. And I believe this 2020 Singapore Property Show will definitely benefit you whether you are a first-timer home buyers or a existing HDB owners, EC or private owners. It is free as well. So please don't miss this great event and learn more about property in Singapore. So register with me now via the link below or PM me directly for the registration. So this will come to the end of my video and I hope you have some takeaway from this video. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up, share or subscribe to my channel and comment below or you can PM me if you like to raise more questions on others' property issues. I will do my best to answer them. And I will see you soon in the next video. As always, stay safe and take care.